Hello, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. With today, we will see this loader from JDM128. It is a telescope control. This, this arm you see can extend and withdraw it. So got the bucket, fork, and also this hydraulic controlled fork. We will operate to play it. Let's see, already put battery and connected. So let's first start the pump. And uh, one minute, we will try all the switches. So this one you see got no light, no no light, but we will start to operate, steering, driving, pump already start, so we will operate the arm, restore it, and go out. Let's put it down, lift up, let's see how tall it is. Okay, that's the top position. Take it back. And uh, this claw already connected. And let's tilt it. Put it down. So this one, mostly it is using on the farming land for the grass okay the power only lift up a little for the pump load now it is a little bit low can increase a little bit close it and here this fork and bucket we can leave it we can try to take out the tissue paper Let's go forward. This one has two speed and a differential lock. Later we will try it. Put it down, then open it. Go forward and close it. Lift up. So you can see this one you can as a hair stack using on the farm and now I don't have the grass. We can unload it to another corner of the table. Also we can extend it so if you have a car very tall, the truck, you can lift up more higher to unload it. Yeah you see now let's say here is the truck you can drop it. Yeah, drop it to the car. <laughs> okay, we will take it back. We check the two speed and uh, the differential lock. Put it down. So, stop the pump. Now it is at low speed. We will lift up, try to see the difference. So, low speed. Change it to high speed, it's more fast, and low speed with differential lock. Okay, now engage, it's driving. Okay, differential lock, unlock it. Now it is engaged, high speed. Okay, we can drive it to see the speed difference. Now it is at a high speed. Fully ahead. Stop it. No, backward is so I will protect and not go off table. Okay, that's the backward. We change it to low speed to see. Forward. Backward. Okay, that's the low speed. So now we will see the hydraulic. This for the fork. How we change it? Lift up, we will see it. So this one no have spare channel to use it for this two channel, for this one channel for opening and close. So here you see this one. We have another channel 
need to use for this quick release, this one, one channel for the cylinder. So it is not connected. So now if you want to change it, to remove this one first, this quick release, start the pump. Not, now cannot because this hydraulic oil it is supplied to the claw to open and close. You, if you want to change, only first disconnect from here and then connect to the quick release. We will change it to see. So pull it out quickly because the oil remaining in the hose will come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, clean the oil. So now we will change to the quick release. Pull it in, lock it. Lock and yes, clean a little, little this loop oil. So now already changed to the quick release. We will release this one and remove it, change it to pocket or change it to another fork. Start the pump. Check here the quick release. It is open. You see now we will close it again. That's the controlling. So now this one for for take out here have a small screw need to take out. So after lose these two screw, you can pull out this quick connection. So here you see it is opening and closed by these two small cylinder. When you move the cylinder, still coming some oil. We leave it alone. We will change to this bucket. Start the pump. Change the angle. Now you can hook it up. Yeah. Then here the pin. Align it to the hole. Okay. Now it is locked. So this fork, it is hooked up same. And this one can be manual adjusted. You can pull it, adjust the, how much is the distance. That's the, another fork, we leave it alone. Okay, let's play this one. And for tilting. Put it down. Let's see how much is this big arm power. Now, big arm can lift up, but for the bucket, at this load of the pump, this one cannot lift up the weight. You see, it's only lifting up a little. Let's see how much is the load. So end points, the pump is channel five. Okay, let's see the end points. So channel five. No, channel 5, it is 30%. Actually, we can increase a little bit. It is not much. 50, that's, now it's 50 for the pump. Lift up, let's see if now have more power for it. Put it down and lift up by tilting the bucket. Yeah, only lifting up a little. Anyway, it is enough. We can operate it for loading. It is only on the flat table or some ground, yeah? So put it down and go forward. We will be loading and then lift it up. So this one now also can set up mix control with the pump. Now it is started the pump independently. Okay, go out. The big arm, lift up a little bit more, and uh, go to unloading to the big car, yeah, to the truck. Okay, tilt in the bucket like this. Can be unloading for it. Go backward, finish loading, tilt him back. Drop it. 
and take it back to the arm. Let's see a little bit of the details of this telescope loader. So here I have one hook. You can pull in some trailer or something. Okay, so here is the connection for the big arm. And uh, this one, rear side axle, the suspension can tilt into each side, but actually no half spring. Okay, so front axle, no half suspension, it is fixed. We can lift up to see the steering. So downside, you will see the servo, it is under here. I will turn it around. This servo and that's the connecting road. On top, you will see it. That's for steering. Okay. So the cabin door we will open to see inside. Inside is the decoration seat controlling. Oh, wheels cannot turn it. Okay, so the door has this lock. Close it. Uh, I've broken this ladder. Actually, this ladder, uh, I can order new to change it. So let's see this side. And lift up a little, you will be able to see the connection for this bucket. So here, the oil hose coming from the pump distribution well, controlling to this one is the quick connection for the lock of the pin. And uh, this one coming from this side, go inside the arm. Yeah, that's for the tilting, the cylinder, it is under there. For tilting the bucket, that's the cylinder and the piston road. Okay. Turn around, here is the big arm, the cylinder. You see it's moving for the, the piston cylinder connecting road. Okay, the end point, it is inside there for the pin locked on the frame. And from the top, this angle, you will be able to see the drive motor. It is a brushed one and the transmission gearbox, so two speed. So the differential lock and the transmission gearbox controlled by a same servo. From this angle, not easy to see the servo, but we only can see also the transmission gearbox, the connecting road. It is under there, it's very hard to see it, it is dark inside. So from the top, we can only see the differential lock, these wires from this angle. Maybe you can see it, this one, differential lock. I will move it to see. So now it is locked, unlock it, lock. Yeah. This side, we open this door inside we will see we put battery here and here is the receiver and also under there that's the pump ESC okay so no others no light no sound we will close it wires lock it okay the battery need to move a little bit Lock it. So let's see if the chassis, we will drive it to see the connecting road, the CVD drive shaft. Now it is at lock, unlock the differential lock. So the, the motor, driver motor goes to this transmission gearbox, also transfers the power to front, also to the rear. These are the CVD driving shaft with the cotton junction. That's low speed, change it to high speed, I see again. Okay, so this part, it is plastic. In the middle of the frame, it is metal one. This, uh, also this one, in the middle frame, it is all metal. This door, this 
shell, it is plastic. The axle, it is like custom metal. Also, the connecting rod, it is also all metal for steering. So this is the, in the middle, the main frame, it is all metal one. Okay, let's see another material. So the arm, the bucket, everything is metal. The cabin, it is all plastic. Okay, let's see the hub. The hub, it is also a metal one, alloy. Okay, that's all for this 1 to 8 JDM, this telescope loader. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.